Hi everybody, my name is Brittany Van Schravendijk, also known as KB Fit Brit. I'm a Master of Sport, National Record Holder, and World Record Holder in Kettlebell Lifting. Today I'm going to tell you the three basic principles you need to know for the Kettlebell Sport Swing. This is going to transition over into any other lifts you do with the kettlebell, uh, cleans and snatches, uh, long cycle. So if you've got these basic principles, it's going to transition very well over to every other kettlebell sport lift you do. So principle number one is how we hold the kettlebell for the swing. So I've got my AK Kettlebell Kings competition bell right here. I'm going to want to hold the bell in my fingers. So I don't want to be gripping the bell tight in my palm. This is going to cause some blisters and some discomfort when you're lifting the bell. So what I want is that bell should be right in my fingertips. You should be able to see my palm with my thumb hooked over. This is called our hook grip. Where you grip the kettlebell on the handle doesn't matter too much. I like to grip kind of more towards the center with the kettlebell king bell. It's a little bit thinner right there. It's going to feel more comfortable. From there, I want to slightly turn my thumb inward so that I'm swinging the bell with my thumb about 45 degrees back. This is going to help me get a deeper uh, swing, which is going to transition well into the snatch. Uh, it's personal preference though, if you prefer to swing with thumb forward, you can do that as well. You just won't get as deep of a back swing. Second principle we're going to keep in mind is the action of our legs during the swing. So as opposed to a hard style swing, where you just have a slight bend in your knees and you launch the bell forward, in the kettlebell sports swing, we're going to have a double knee bend that happens. This is going to allow us to get stretch reflex from our hamstrings as we extend, which will help us scoop the bell up. It also allows the bell to travel to the very end of its arc and lets gravity help us bring it back up. And it's also going to make sure that the trajectory of the bell is upwards instead of out. Because for the most part, we're trying to bring the bell either to rack or overhead, if it's already moving upwards due to our leg action, it's going to make it easier for us to get it either into that rack or overhead position. So, if I grip my kettlebell with my hook grip, turn my thumb slightly in, and now I scoop my legs, that bell is swinging upwards. If I were to let it go, it would keep moving upwards for just a couple seconds. So that's the reason why we're going to use that double knee bend. Last principle I want to talk to you about is this space between your arm and your body. Some of you may have heard me refer to it as the red zone. We call this the red zone or the danger zone. For most of your lifts, especially the swing, you don't want to have a ton of space between your arm and your body. Obviously at the top of the swing, there's going to be space, but throughout the rest of the movement, we want to keep that arm nice and tight. This is going to help us load our hips instead of our back and our shoulders and allow us to move that bell more smoothly throughout the whole arc of the swing. So as that bell comes down, I'm going to wait with my hips forward until my arm comes down and hits my waistband. Then I'm going to push my hips back. Similarly on the way forward, I don't want to let my arm fly out in front of my hips. A lot of red zone. I want my hips and my arm to work together so I have less space between my arm and my body until that top position. So watch me real quick, I'll show you. You want to make sure to keep that arm nice and tight. I'm going to wait, wait, and push through with my hips. Wait. This is going to allow me to get more power from my legs and save my grip, especially going to help in the snatch lift. So if you get those basics down on the swing, it's going to help you tremendously when you move on to other lifts. So make sure you put those swings in every workout you do in your warm-up. I warm up with the 8 kilo bell swings every single time I train. So make sure you get that down. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.